Vision 2030 is about modernization and secularization and liberalization of those lands under MBS. Yeah. Vision 2030 initially was, you know, we're seeing all the raves and these things that you've talked about. But the bit I want to just focus on is Vision 2030 is about grabbing the youth and completely encapsulating them in this entertainment bubble and holding them so tightly that even when people are saying to them that, you know what, this is going to lead to problems Islamically later, don't care. So those people who are going to raves and stuff, they're one category of people, you know, and that one category of people may not be the majority, but obviously is being amplified. However, the people who follow football, and this is just my, this is my opinion, and you guys can tell me if you think otherwise, something I've been reflecting on for a few months now is that the population of people that go to raves, clearly they have to be far, far from Islam. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you're in raves, there's free mixing, there's, you know, music and there's all this fahisha and debauchery. You have to be pretty far from Islam to want to go to a rave and all of these, especially some of the things that are happening. Yeah. And the videos and stuff that we saw. However, football is slightly different. Football is actually in the, you know, there's practicing people, like even ourselves, you know, we watch football, we follow football, things like that. Maybe not so much as before, but it's still something that even practicing Muslims will follow football. Okay. All of a sudden, if you then, the youth of Saudi Arabia now, the ones that may have thought, you know what, I'm not going to go to a rave that goes against my deen, but now I'm getting dragged into, oh, wow, we've got these sick players, you know, top, top world class players here. You know, where you might have just followed football from afar, oh, they support a European team. Now you're thinking, you know what, I'm going to go and support my local team. They've got all of these players. And what is happening is certainly the youth, it's another demographic of people amongst the Muslims in those countries to keep them away from speaking out against the modernization. All of a sudden, it's part of a package. The football is part of a package with the raves. It's all collective so that they can completely get this next generation in that, you know, by 2030 is only what, seven years away. Yeah. Less than seven years away now. So how can we accelerate Vision 2030 so that so many more people are bought in? So we got the ones that are on the periphery. Let's get some more via this kind of pumping money in uh, in, in this way. And then there's going to be another plan just down the road to get more people in. And then if there's still people speaking out about it, no problem. We'll chuck them in prison. So it's a whole model that is completely part of Vision 2030, which is the plan to, you know, liberalize and completely de remove Islam from people's, you know, outward actions. Yeah, fine. Pray fast. Do it in your homes. But when you come outside, look. We've got raves for you. We've got bikini beaches for you. We've got a pro league, a Saudi league, which is now, you know, going to compete with Europe. These teams are going to go into the Champions League and stuff like that. Okay, might not happen, but that's what they want to do. So I think that's the bigger picture that people need to look at.